accounts topic is average due date illustration number one the learning objective is how to find out the average due date in this question it is given that following amounts are due on different dates between the same parties amount they are okay up to 500 800 thousand and the due date of these amounts are given 3rd July 2nd August and 11th of September you are required to suggest a date on which all the bills may be paid out without any loss of interest to either party is come up we want to find out average due date on which the whole amount can be paid without loss of interest to either parties now let's see how to solve this question सबसे पहले आपको एक बेस डेट सिलेक्ट करनी पड़ेगी इन दिस क्वेश्चन द बेस डेट यू कैन सिलेक्ट द थर्ड जुलाई हमेशा जो सबसे पहली डेट आ रही है उसको आप बेस डेट सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं वंस यू सिलेक्ट द बेस डेट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉलोइंग टेबल अमाउंट कॉलम ड्यू डेट्स देन एडिशनल कॉलम नंबर ऑफ डेज फ्रॉम द बेस डेट एंड द प्रोडक्ट अब सबसे पहले देखो 500 जो अमाउंट ड्यू है उसकी थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई ड्यू डेट है ये जो ड्यू डेट है इसकी बेस डेट जो थर्ड जुलाई से डिफरेंस है जीरो जीरो डेज का डिफरेंस तो प्रोडक्ट भी जीरो आ रहा है सेकेंड अमाउंट है एट हंड्रेड रुपीज इसकी ड्यू डेट आ रही है सेकेंड ऑफ ऑगस्ट सेकेंड ऑगस्ट को आपको देखना है कि सेकेंड ऑगस्ट का थर्ड जुलाई से कितना डिफरेंस है यू विल फाइंड दैट there is a difference of 30 days between base date of 3rd July and 2nd August just write 30 then multiply this 30 with the amount so the product is 24,000 800 into 30 24,000 similarly 1,000 amount hai, due date hai 11 September difference of 11 September from 3rd July base date say 70 days ka hai. 70 into 1000 you are getting 70,000 once you prepare this table just take the total of amount 2300 aapko total amount pay karna tha and the total of product is 94,000 now you just have to apply the formula average due date ka jo formula hai wo hai base date plus total of product divided by total of amount just put these values into this formula base date aapki hai 3rd july total of product aara hai aapka 94,000 to 94,000 le liya total of amount hai 2300 ye aapne divide by 2300 94,000 divided by 2300 you will get 41 days ye days mein aayega jo bhi remainder aayega 41 days 3rd july mein aapko 41 days add karna hai and see that you will get 13th of August this is your average due date so total amount 2300 can be paid at once on average due date of 13th of August without loss of interest to either party 